Yeah. Yeah, perfect. It's, it's great to get the first one under your belt. I thought coming into the game, believe it or not, even though we were the higher seed um, with really the two in the West, but two overall with 14 league wins, the fact that we had not been on the floor until precisely 27 minutes before the game uh, and FAU had won a game last night, they had seen the ball go in the basket, I thought, um, I thought that they, they would possibly be more comfortable. But our, to our guys' credit, the way in which we came out defensively to start the game uh, was electric. We had them on their heels. We had never allowed them to get into a rhythm. And then we were making uh, a lot of incredible shots. This guy on my left, Quan Jackson, had a tremendous year. And he and Jelly early really set the tone on the offensive end. Uh, second half, uh, we did not handle their zone very well. You know, sometimes when you're up 10 or 12, I don't know if they got it. Maybe they got it to eight. Um, you start trying to wait too late in the shot clock, and we put ourselves in some precarious situations. But we answered the bell. Uh, good first night having the opportunity to advance. Jerry? Okay. Go ahead. Coach, you pulled away late, but like you said earlier, before half, it, was, it could have went either, either way, and things could have changed for you going in at halftime. What did you, when, on the last media time, what did you talk to me you know, we just wanted to – I thought we were really dominant. You know, we, we led the game for 37 minutes and 36 seconds. They led the game for 44 seconds. But when you're standing where I am, from my vantage point, it's never enough. And I felt like if I was Dusty May, and I've got great respect for Dusty and his staff and the FAU program, they've had a tremendous year. But if I was Dusty, I would have been talking about, man, guys, we're fortunate to only be down 12 at the half with the way they shot the ball. We go seven for 11 from three. We're really making tough shots. So I thought they would, they would have some confidence with that. Again, we started the second half, first five minutes, win the, win the effort areas out of the half. Defensively, I thought we were really locked in. And again, we, we had some issues versus pressure, but the 3-2 zone bothered us. But overall, it was a terrific night for us. Well, this is uh, uncommon for you all to be bothered by the zone this late in the season. Yeah, you know, we have 20 turnovers. And, and I think we're in the top 25, 30 teams in the country in fewest turnovers. A lot of that is because we take so many crazy shots. Of course, I think a bad shot is much better than a turnover. At least you keep it in play. I, I've, I've made a living doing that, by the way. You can, you can Google me. Um, but I, I, I believe that. So, and, and our guys literally take – they take us literally. This guy, not so much. But no, number 10, he takes that literally. Um, but we have 20 turnovers tonight. Again, we had some empty possessions versus that zone, but we were plus 16 on the glass. We turned them over 16 times. We hold them under 40% from the floor while shooting about 48% ourselves. That's how you uh, win a conference tournament game against a good team by double point, double figures. So, uh, if you want to call this the game, you can rebound well. Why did you rebound? That's right. That's a lot. That's, yeah, it's, that's, that's real work. Yes, yeah, real work. And this guy has 14. You know, I thought our front line, they stayed in foul trouble. Our, our starting four and five, uh, combined for seven total, but only four off the defensive glass. This cat goes for 14. He's been tremendous. 20 and 14, without question, the MVP of the game. I appreciate that, Coach. Thank you. Let's talk about this. 13 rebounds? That's pretty important. 14, yeah. man. You must have. You got it. Well, you well, I'm not the ones I say say 14. You, better get, you might want to get another uh, damn bar. Hey, either, either way it goes, man. I, I I was just out there just just playing my game. You know, I don't really care about the numbers or worry about the numbers. I just want to win games. And they told me I had 13, 14 rebounds, and I was just shocked because I just thought, you know what I'm saying? I ain't think I had that many. But <laughs> 14 is. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I challenged him. He'll tell you we, we had a, a front court guy go down on us a, a few. Uh, a couple months now uh, back, and I, and, I, and I challenged Quan because he was averaging around four or five, but I said, hey, man, you know, there, there's boards there to be had, and, and over that stretch, I think he's averaging eight or nine rebounds. His instincts of, of making plays defensively, which he's one of the best in the country at, he's using those same instincts to be a terrific rebounder by pursuing the ball, and um, again, he was acknowledged by being an all-league player, and, and he was certainly the MVP tonight. Okay, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that. Thank you.